Hello and welcome to another episode of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Today I will be descending further into this darkness, this unnatural darkness. That's a nope. Ooh. Ooh. That's a dick move. It's not light up corners. Well, I was about to ask if he's still in there, but quite clearly he is. Touch fire, why am I so dumb? That should have been an obvious do not touch thing. In case of a missing rod, it is a full set of three if a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner studies room, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using them using a mended one. Oh, thank you. Oh. Well, if he doesn't come in here, I might have, I don't need to. But I know where I'm hiding if I do. Oh. 
Okay, so I did make it out of this room. That's good to know. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. I just didn't recognize it. Oh my god. Do not be coming this way. Oh, there's chest here. so I can collect stuff. Okay. Be in my foot still if I need anything. run for it. I doubt he could catch me. There we go. Was this another dream he thought? And screamed at the top of his lungs. Okay. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Guest room study. I think that's where the other one was. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. Enough. They're getting creeped up. It's what is this place? Plenty bright enough. I think it is, at least. Weather regarding the discovery of the orb. So my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing has happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I have fun finally found one of the orbs I was looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it, uh, it was as it was told about. An underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was so big, uh, the orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails while I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Jeez, this is a lot of reading. 
As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it also has become my biggest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bathed loudly as it closed in. The beast, the guardian of the orb, was rel relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained... Uh, fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would I would be spared. Suddenly, blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running th through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned to charcoal, black with leaves of cinder. The, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until the day I fear its return. Or until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since the day, and I have still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orb, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstad. Your friend and mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Okay, good to know. Can I break one of these windows? Is that a thing? Weird noises, but okay. It is not dark enough for you to start losing your sanity. Chill out, okay? Simple as that. Okay, can I please? Thank you. It is not dark enough. Chill. Jesus. Now that's something to get nervous about. Just blood. That's a lot of blood. Can I read this? Milestones of human anatomy. Okay. Understanding locomotion. Understanding balance, canine jaw. That was a real dog at one point. I'm assuming it is, at least, from what I'm looking at. Okay, the animal experiment. After a short study, it is unclear that the agitation. Uh, it is. It is unclear. It is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the do in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genius. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount ne necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments the, the, their experience of torture. Jesus Christ! I want to see that. I want to hear it. See what you have to offer. <clears throat> Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, that's 
one ugly mug. Okay, Anatomy of Frontiers. Further disappointing, the antiquarian's latest finding yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life in its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans em emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Well, I guess, I, uh, I, guess I will end the episode here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.